Hey, well, a couple of updates with the Hatsan Bully. Um, one of the things I was noticing um, that I really didn't like was that the uh, the rail that uh, you know is extremely long. Uh, obviously, mainly it's for a scope, but it's for other uh, accessories that you might want to add. That's the main reason I could see it being as long as it is as well as uh, for the peep sights that come with the gun. But I've got a scope on there. I've also uh, installed a, a laser and a uh, red light. Now, it has a Picatinny rail underneath it. And uh, what I was noticing was I was getting a lot of creaking, uh, a lot of looseness from the uh, bottle clamp itself, which ties in with the uh, the top rail which uh, other people I have been online have noticed you know affects their accuracy because it flexes with the looseness of the bottle clamp being tied in with the scope rail uh, there is movement throughout the entire system so uh, I basically took the bottle clamp uh, which is plastic off right here this would be the, the very frontmost uh, rail clamp uh, this is the front of the uh, bottle support and uh, with some painters tape marked off where I wanted to cut off and retain uh, there's a total of four uh, I'm sorry, there's a total of three barrel clamps. Uh, I wanted to retain um, uh, at least two with uh, one, the, the rearmost on the uh, bottle clamp. I wanted to keep that uh, because that rail extends way beyond uh, the uh, clamp that's closest to the breech. Um, now it does mount directly uh, above the uh, the receiver uh, where the breech is and uh, then you have another clamp right above the trigger then you had two clamps tied in with this bottle support and uh, basically I retained one and uh, also uh, the sling mount is also a part of that particular piece so uh, I, I cut it out with a Dremel tool filed it down to get rid of the rough edges and remounted the little strap that was left based on what I cut off so this is it the rail will attach back here at the breech you've got this clamp right above the trigger and I kept this clamp here with this strap. I've got some 3M double-sided tape, hopefully uh, holding down the uh, portion of this little strap right here is the sling mount. So hopefully the double-sided 3M tape uh, will be strong enough to hold that. Uh, we'll find out. Time will tell. Uh, right now, I've just got a clamp on there I'm going to leave on uh, for the tape to cure and uh, see how that all holds up. Uh, there is a separate uh, bottle uh, strap that you can buy from Utah Air Guns. It just goes around the bottle. won't tie in with the barrel at all, but it does have a Picatinny rail on the bottom of it. So I could use that for accessories. Uh, that's my plan anyway. That, uh, that uh, bottle strap with the Picatinny rail is by Sabre Tactical. Again, at Utah Air Guns, uh, they sell them. And uh, what I also did was, with a Dremel tool, again, 
just the uh, rail, the overall length of the rail I cut down since uh, the one uh, barrel end isn't going to be supported anyway. I took about four inches, I would say, a good four inches off of it. That way, when this is mounted back up to the gun, it'll hang out about four inches. Um, the amount that the rail will stick out now but, uh, from the last support will equal is probably uh, what it was before it was cut. So there's no loss the barrel, in uh, uh, that would make it support uh, more advantageous integrity. for me. Uh, and it's not very heavy, so uh, I don't have any uh, personal uh, problems with uh, mounting it on the end of the rail that will be overhanging this uh, this uh, last clamp over here and uh, again um, what I can do what I pre thought out is if this doesn't work if this ends up coming loose as far as the sling mount there are some pretty small narrow uh, Picatinny attachments uh, sling attachments which I might be able to fit uh, the main thing I want to be able to fit is uh, actually I'm probably going to stay away from any type of bipod um, shoot off sticks anyway and not use a bipod but get uh, a light mounted underneath uh, and as long as that fits on the Picatinny rail that's my main concern um, uh, if uh, an extra sling mount is needed uh, like I said on eBay I've spotted some very uh, narrow ones which hopefully will allow both the light and the sling mount to be attached and that's only going to be needed if the 3M double-sided tape doesn't work so uh, that's where I am at this point I am going to take the uh, uh, the long rail piece with me uh, to work and buff out that uh, cut edge it's a little bit rough from having just used a dremel tool to cut that down in this photo you can see the gap between the top of the bottle and the bottle cover itself In the next two photos, you can see the massive bulge that was created on the inner diameter of the bottle cover. This was from massively over tightening the screw that clamps the cover together. This was not like this prior to sending the rifle into Hot Sun Service Department. In a later video, I'll show how all the fixes turned out. Thanks for watching. Shoot safe.